Hi friends, it's Monica and let's talk about Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. This book is the first out of four secret projects that Brandon Sanderson is releasing in 2023 and I'm just getting around to Tress so let's just dive in right into what this book is about. We follow Tress who lives on the rock which is an island in a spore filled ocean and once these spores come in contact with water it can become very dangerous. On this island, Tress has a simple life, collecting teacups for her ever-growing collection until her feelings for the Duke's son, Charlie, increases. And seemingly, the next morning, Charlie and his family are set to move off island. But once letters from Charlie stops arriving, Tress realizes that Charlie might need some of her help and to help save him from the evil sorceress in the Midnight Sea. From there, Tress goes on a wild seafaring adventure where she meets many characters that may or may not harm her. First, what I really enjoyed about this book was that this book was really whimsical. It's very different from other Brandon Sanderson books that I've read and it really gives off the cozy fantasy type of feels and that seems to be an upward trend in the fantasy genre. And I really did like how it's not necessary to read any other Cosmere book from Brandon Sanderson to understand what is going on with Tress and her story, although there are really fun easter eggs here and there that I did have fun spotting out. There are also pretty illustrations throughout the book, which I do really like having that visual aspect. It, it just helps with the imagination. Another surprise was the narrator of Tress of the Emerald Sea was someone that if you've read past Brandon Sanderson books and we are familiar with is Hoyd. I really like seeing his twist on telling Tress's story and it's really reminiscent of him and other books telling his tall tales. The best part of the book for me was when we left the island and we were on this seafaring adventure with Tress and her learning about how big her world is. She does find herself on a pirate ship and there's also curses, a talking rat, finding her found family, and also trying not to get on the bad side of the mysterious pirate captain. Tress being the protagonist, she really is the standout character for me in this book with her taking on any challenges that come her way despite fears and really unknown settings. She does persevere and she uses her mind trying to work her way through this huge unknown world. Onto what I didn't fully enjoy about this book, there's only a few points here. Although I really liked having Hoyd as the narrator, he really did add a unique voice to telling Tress's story. It just felt at some moments he was trying so hard to be humorous or really philosophical. Didn't add too much to what was going on into the story. It's just, okay, here's this nice life lesson thrown at us. Although I did move on quite quickly from this because it was just something that did take my attention away from the story a little bit. Another aspect of this book that I didn't really like was that the first part of this book was about the love story between Tress and Charlie. Although this is quickly overshadowed by Tress going on that seafaring adventure and discovering all these new wild things. And other than that, I really did enjoy learning about all the side characters and all the little tales that we get throughout. I did end up rating Tress of the Emerald Sea a 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed having this type of atmospheric fantasy, fairy tale esque story, and it really is something that's different from Brandon Sanderson, but I really did like how it was an expansion on Hoyd's stories that he does tell in other books. I love the growth that Tress has and the weird planet that we're set on. After reading this book, I was quite inspired to find some more cozy fantasy reads and I'm really excited to tackle some of the ones that I have found really soon. And overall, I do think that Tress of the Emerald Sea is really good for both YA or adult readers. It doesn't really matter. If you want like a really fairy tale esque atmospheric cozy fantasy, Tress would do it for you. Overall, that's all I had to say about this book and I really hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you all had a wonderful day and don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!